towing corruption in Detroit. The names change, but the stories stay the same. From six cops indicted for extorting collision shops in 2017 to a deputy chief accused of taking bribes from a towing titan. Despite high profile guilty pleas, we continue to see elected leaders and police officers sidelined by new allegations of towing corruption. Tonight, 7 investigator Ross Jones is digging into the root of the problem. And you'll be surprised why what you're about to hear. Bottom line is to remove corruption from the city and from the police department. Two Detroit cops have been indicted for bribery. Another who retired was just charged too. And tonight, one third of the city council is either under investigation for corruption or has pleaded guilty. 90% of the problems deal with towing. It is just the latest chapter in the city's long, tortured history of crooked officials and corrupt towers. I do believe the, that the roots of the problem lie in the towing industry itself. For years, Commander Michael Parrish was the department's towing monitor and says unlike most industries, the towing business invites bribery because competing towers don't have many ways to differentiate themselves. If your business is not going to separate you, then the ingredients are there to go to extraordinary measures to make sure that you have carved out your niche in the field. They would uh, gain the police officer's confidence and they'd gain their trust and especially they'd gain their like. Tom Barry is a retired Detroit police lieutenant who saw towers cozy up to officers in his decades on the force. Oh man, this guy's cool, man. We went over there, we had, you know, Hennessy and he got pay-per-view and we watched a fight over his house. In Detroit, towing companies are used by police around the clock to tow cars that have been seized, stolen, or in accidents. An officer is supposed to call a towing dispatcher who follows a rotation of 16 approved companies to make sure business is shared equally. But for a company looking for an edge, knowing the right cop can make all the difference. So they start making this money. Well, what do you think they do? They run their mouth. And the tower would say, hey, you know anybody else? Instead of using the towing rotation, Barry says cops would make calls on their cell phones to their favorite tower, collecting between $100 and $200 a pop. How many cops do you think are or were on the take? Well, I know a couple that retired and they were involved. I'm not going to mention their names because they weren't charged, they weren't convicted. Um, some of these people I worked with, some of these people were my friends. The city now admits that its towing system was too easy to exploit and faults what officials call a murky permitting process overseen by the Board of Police Commissioners that did not rely on competitive bidding. The system that was under the Board of Police Commissioners had no controls in it uh, and I've been dismantling it and I'm going to finish dismantling it. Until recently, commissioners like Linda Bernard oversaw the towing process. But when we talked with her about how to clean it up, we were surprised to hear her praise Gaspar Fiore, a disgraced tower who the feds called a prolific bribe payer. I do respect Gaspar because he's a hardworking man who wears, as I said, I've never seen him without muddy boots. His boots weren't the only thing that was dirty. The feds say he bribed a deputy police chief, Councilwoman Monica Conyers, and Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick, just to name a few. Fiore went to prison in 2018 and was banned from towing for the city for 20 years. But his checks, well, they still cashed, at least for Commissioner Bernard, who campaign records show accepted a nearly $2,000 donation from Fiore and his daughter just last year. He handed out bribes like they were candy. I, I understand that. He did hand out, he handed out money to people who asked him for money, and he had money to give, right? It's not right. It's wrong because they were public officials. But you don't have a problem accepting money from him? No, I don't. There are crimes, and then there are, 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 are super crimes, are like murder. Are you saying that, that bribing public officials is not a super crime? I think bribing public officials it's similar to what my mother used to say all the time, Woodward is a two-way street. It's just not fair for us all to be branded as corrupt individuals or company owners, or when you see a tow truck going down the road, we're here out, we're out there to help people. Well, Commissioner Bernard defended Fiore, the Detroit Towers Association would not. Barry Foster is its president and says, don't fault an entire industry for Fiore's sins. As of today, none of his members have been charged with anything. Do you believe any of your members will be indicted? To my knowledge, I, I don't think so. 
To fix the problem, DPD is planning to buy a new software system that will assign toes as they're needed to approved companies. It's aimed at cutting out the human element, leaving it to computers instead. And the system will be audited, the chief says, to test whether officers are influencing the process. Do you expect more cops to be indicted? I wouldn't be surprised. That new towing software DPD hopes to get will still require approval from the Detroit City Council. If they get it, it's expected to cost about $400,000 to implement. From downtown, I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. All right, thank you much, Ross.